to that. Yeah. Let's bring Rick into the it's conversation. The poster child. Yes. The poster child for no more regulation. Uh, not, not, is that, is he? Is that what you're calling Santelli? I think, ma, ma, no, Madoff. Madoff, oh, Madoff. sorry. Madoff, oh, sorry. Oh, Madoff is the poster that is, child. Uh, no, no, let's assume no he more. is, Rick, I assume he is talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, don't take the bait. There's plenty to argue about. Don't take that false bait from Joe, okay? I don't argue. I just try to put some light on the other side of opinions and maybe show that there are two sides to every story. I, I think this one year anniversary is great, but I think it's great for another reason. I think someday we'll learn that we didn't need to do very much, that time heals all wounds and you don't have to go broke in the process. We just had a guy here from the street who, who you had. dramatically disagrees <laughs> with you, Rick. Good, who cares? The whole government probably disagrees, the Treasury disagrees, but we can audit them. I still don't know the breadth, size, and dollar amounts of toxic derivatives. Sham, irresponsible, it's horrible. So I it mean, where have we come? It would have we, been we fixed, okay. So we fixed all the banks that's and what people I never know. still can't get loans. Okay, I'm done. Now you can give me all the propaganda. <laughs> no, not propaganda, Rick. It's, oh, oh, you're saying, it's, no, no, it's okay that no banks would trade with each other. What we just had somebody say you here. You know what? I didn't think. I don't think they were worth saving, Joe and and Steve. Steve. What did we save? <laughs> well, what well, do we know today, Steve? How much the city who has 301 billion of guarantees? Right. How many toxic derivatives do they have, buddy? Uh, I don't know the answer Neither to that. We know that there's some hundreds of. Geithner. We, we know there's several hundreds of billions that are guaranteed by the government, and oh, the yeah. thinking was that if Citigroup went down, the entire financial yeah, system would like have... Yeah, just like if Lehman went down, the sun didn't come up. Guess what? It's come up 366 days in a row. 66. Interesting number. Um, Rick, I just want to be clear. So what you're saying is it would have been okay to have the whole thing freeze up, to not have any banks fund or collateralize or otherwise repo with all I the said. other banks, your markets would no. have been what okay. What I said is most of what they did was the same thing. It, it, it was papering up a situation in the darkest of times where they're, they're going to claim that the credit crisis is fixed and over as the current administration does many times. I don't times. think they're doing that, Rick. Oh, if you heard on. what Geithner said the other night, he I thinks we're a long well. way from mission accomplished, Rick. What did you hear? Did you wake up on a... Did you have a bad weekend, Rick? Monday. No, not a... You know what? I did have I a had bad a really weekend. Good, why? You know why I had a bad Chicago weekend? Chicago lost. Because it's one year Chicago ago today lost. I could see... I could see that the philosophical issues of those who lead us isn't in lockstep with those who put them there, and probably that will change. Rick, were you in Washington at some of the uh, demonstrations this weekend what on Saturday? What demonstrations? I watched network news. I didn't see any. What, what demonstrations are you talking about? <laughs> oh, the, one in the one in Minneapolis where they had 1,400 people. That, that's the yeah, one that, that was that one. I heard there was 300 protesters outside, too. I didn't see them on the news. Did you? So I guess you weren't there. Okay, Steve. <laughs> uh, Rick, it's good seeing you as always. You're always, a pleasure it's to, always pleasure a pleasure to pleasure. chat with. Yes, so, yes. It, I liked it. Uh, uh, Joe, is there any other, I mean, I, look, let's say I just wipe out everything I've said before. I know we got to go. Is there anybody else who says we should have just let it drop and fall? Am I missing any, anybody? There are, there are, there the liquidationists. Yes. Is, is, is that, there, there, the journal doesn't say that this morning. I mean, the, the journal says, system, the whole yeah, system? That's, I think, but the journal says this morning they should have, clarify. Yes. They don't say they shouldn't have done it. The, the journal well. editorial page. I, I don't think, the, like you said, that's not necessarily what it was saying. It was saying that, that uh, there were many things that probably shouldn't have been done. Okay. Right? I, okay. I mean, it, and okay. it is possible if you just did the FDIC. I want to be open-minded. What if you just did the FDIC guarantee of deposits? What if you, did it, if you did that in the commercial paper? What if that's, and you didn't you save You still don't days? have banks lending to each other. The whole, the whole fractional well, that, banking system but, is one where you don't have to have the same amount of money on hand that you have to lend, right? You borrow the reserves. That was, that, the idea of just letting the system find its own level is a risk that the world couldn't afford to take. Right. So, I mean, it's silly to even talk about it.